The human body is capable of surviving unimaginable things. For example, flight attendant Vesna Volovich holds the Guinness World Record for the longest survived fall. In 1972, she fell out of a plane that exploded in the middle of a flight at 33,330 feet and fell to the ground. Vesna sustained serious injuries but managed to recover fully and live a long and happy life. On the other hand, there are about 650,000 global deaths from falling each year, and the large majority of those deaths happen at a height of less than 20 feet. So, why do some people survive and others don't? Before we answer what limits human survival, make sure you drop us a like and subscribe to the channel for more content. Two main factors of survival According to many studies, there seem to be two crucial factors when it comes to survival – personal resilience and luck. There are people who have been shot in places that should have ended their life right there on the spot. Then there is a guy who was shot in his toe with an air rifle and the wound caused a blood clot that traveled all the way from his foot to his brain, and he died. Luck is not something you can control, but personal resilience somewhat is. It's more controllable and plays an important part in how someone could survive. The finest example of personal resilience is cold resistance. How cold is too cold? Average human body temperature is somewhere between 97.7 and 99.5 Fahrenheit. Losing as little as 2 degrees can lead to hypothermia, whereas a single degree increase can cause someone to feel very hot and experience an intense fever. The biggest issue with temperature is that there is no universal scale that would determine how quickly a person could get cold or how long they can withstand lower temperatures. This is where personal resilience comes in to play its big part. For example, someone who grew up in Siberia would be able to survive for longer in cold weather than someone who grew up in the tropics. Studies show that the average human would die from cold once their body reaches 69.8 Fahrenheit but would be incapable of doing anything well before their body temperature drops down to that level, with the average passing out point being somewhere around 82.4 degrees. How hot is too hot? As mentioned earlier, raising a single degree of body temperature would cause someone to experience fever-like symptoms such as headaches, fatigue, and dizziness. Once the body temperature reaches 109.4 Fahrenheit, the person would die. Some people survived body temperatures as high as 114.8 Fahrenheit, but this temperature would certainly cause other symptoms such as respiratory failure, convulsions, shock, and even brain damage. All that being said, there is no exact degree that would determine how long a person would survive as numerous factors like clothing and the person's physical condition and activity play a significant role in survival. How long can you survive without food? Many factors play a role in surviving without food, but the general estimate is that someone can do so for about three weeks. For example, if a person who is in a good shape is left stranded on an island without any food or water, they can spend their time sitting and not doing anything, and they would be able to survive for a month or even more. On the other hand, people who are not in shape and don't take good care of their health, well, they probably wouldn't survive for more than two weeks. The most important factor of survival is your diet, or how often your body is used to eating. Lack of food would probably be a greater shock to someone who eats a lot and often in comparison to someone who eats less and not as frequently. It only takes 24 hours without food for your body to start experiencing nausea, which gets worse as more time passes. After 48 hours, a person would probably have no energy or will to move at all. Finally, after a few days, the lack of food would cause symptoms such as muscle pains and stomach cramps, making walking impossible and meaning that the person would begin starving to death. How long can you survive without water? Water is the most essential nutrient on our planet and the source of all life. Since the human body is up to 60% water, you can imagine what would happen if you didn't drink any. The average time a person can survive without water varies between 70 and 80 hours, but this also depends on the person. Although the average time of surviving without water is about 3 days, a person not drinking water for that long would be in no condition to do anything long before death occurs. It only takes 24 hours for your kidneys to begin to struggle, and that's also when the intense headaches begin. After 48 hours, your body begins to degrade rapidly, which means that you won't be able to eat anything. Lack of water causes blood to thicken and slow down blood circulation, meaning that your organs can't rely on blood to feed them oxygen. But even before you die of thirst, you would probably go blind, because there wouldn't be enough moisture in your body to feed your eyes. How long can you survive without sleep? The Guinness World Record for not sleeping was set by a high school student in 1964. Randy Gardner spent 264 hours without sleep, but the toll that took on his body was grueling. 
That's why the world record is no longer available to challenge. After 24 hours without sleep, your ability to function becomes similar to functioning after having a few drinks. After 48 hours, you probably wouldn't be able to solve even the simplest of puzzles. And since it's not ethical to see how long someone can go without sleep before dying, there are no official studies that we can rely on. However, claims from war prisoners and various prison camps say that a person would die of sleep deprivation somewhere between 8 and 13 days. This brings us back to Randy Gardner, who was awake for 11 days. By the time the experiment ended, Randy couldn't move and he was completely unresponsive.